New York and on the new Hot 97 app, Ebro in the Morning on Hot 97. It is now time for Rosenberg's Interesting Thought. Interesante. So we were talking about Kanye. Yes. Yeah. And, and I think this is a very interesting conversation I had this weekend. Kanye's whole church thing, right? That's right. Okay. Do you feel like, on some level, Kanye swagger jack this entire thing from Chance the Rapper? Oh, 100% thought that and, when it started. And even crazier is that the Kanye Chance records, which were written by Chance, the best ones that Bring he up made, Ultra Light Beam, my Jake. Ultra fire. Light Beam and Father Stretch My Hands, those ones that Chance orchestrated. Those were all part of the sessions for Chance 3, mm -hmm. which was his whole, you know, churchy-themed album. Which Kanye took and put on Pablo. Before Chance put out his album. Yes. He took them from the sessions they were working on. Chance even says on his verse, blah, 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 and Chance 3. He was working on it right then. Kanye ran out ahead of it, put out his album, and now has taken on the whole church brand. Well, Kanye's doing to Chance what he used to do to Drake. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me. Let, oh, this is a good idea. And what he blah, did blah, blah, to blah. Travis, and what he did to Cuddy. Mm. Different music. <laughs> wow, he, everyone. But he was now, on Jesus there's two, walks early though. He was. He's yeah, no, been no, no but that's. And, but that no, but he's what he's talking about is, is the, the sound, feel music, the feel music. Not just not just mentioning Jesus. I'm but it should feel. be noted though. You could argue, yeah, he's Swagger Jack, whatever. But it's also setting the table because those artists. Because it is their sound, right, or their sauce, if you will, mm -hmm. it enables them, because he's such a star, to now have an easier entree because he's kind of set the table with the well, sound. Well, that's the trade-off. And it's happened, in, it's happened multiple times. It happened with Cuddy. It happened with Travis. It happened with, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's happened several times. And, and the look that he gives you by jumping on the records and doing right, songs right, with him right. is still so it's very, a trade-off. It's a trade-off. Yeah. But now it's interesting because Chance is kind of in between the place that he's supposed to sit in and Kanye is firmly the cement himself what, what as I'm gonna church do, guy from Chicago. So now, mm -hmm. I have a conversation I had on Apple Music with Kirk Franklin on his last album that he put out. Mm -hmm. And I asked Kirk specifically about his Kanye West relationship and Ultralight Beam and the whole thing. And he told the story of Kanye reaching out to him in 2013, coming over to his house on like Thanksgiving, Kirk Franklin's house. And telling Kirk Franklin back then that he wanted to help change gospel music and bring a certain sound to gospel music. He said it in 2013, according mm. to Kirk Franklin. Mm. Well, that is interesting. And meaning, meaning that he's not doing it just now based on the circumstance he's found himself in, but he's had this interest for a long time. He's had this interest for a while. It's just the way it looks from an optic standpoint. Well, no, it's definitely, and Kirk goes on to say, well, look, I would love to get you involved. Let's work together. And Kanye was like, well, I'm not ready yet. I got to figure out how I want to. I got to endorse Trump first, and then I'll come back. He was like, Donald Trump's running for president? It was 2013, remember? He's like, oh, yeah, he's going to win. Trust me, I'm on the inside. And which Kirk, you know, Kirk obviously being a, a church-going, you know, Jesus-loving human being and very forgiving was like, look, I don't love, you never love everything your family's doing. You know, he went on into right, that right, whole right, skit. Right. And that's, and that's, by the way, I do still feel that way about Kanye. I, I know it doesn't sound that way. It sounds like hatred. It's not. I'm just trying to figure out what this whole weird thing when your family member goes crazy is because he's been crazy now for a few years. Well, we just disagree with how he's handling this, right? He's been crazy since we've known Kanye. Never true, forget true, that. True, 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 He's true. always bounced around and done some crazy-ish. It's just that we disagree with the political gestures. That's where we. That's where things got hairy and crazy. But I do also get resentful of the, you do the political things that are knowingly bad for a certain group of people, and then you go back to that group of people through church, where which you know is a soft spot. That part really irks me. Yeah, as it should. It feels like, it just feels very cheap. As it should. And then I just thought about Chance and how dope those records were and how that really was Chance's brand, you know? We don't want no <sighs> in the house. This record's incredible. It's one of the best records of all time. Honestly, one of the best rap records of all time. Facts. Ranking Rosenberg. Yep. Still a rank out. This might be a top a top 100 rap song of all time. <laughs> top 100 rap song of all time. <laughs> Flash your lights, Laura Stout, next.